Welcome to Access a Trader, the number one community for those who are committed to taking control of their trading in order to achieve success, profitability, and longevity. Thank you for joining us. Here's Dan Shapiro to help you find your edge, master your process, and own your future. Hey guys, good evening everybody. Welcome to another edition of uh, the Access of Trader.com uh, nightly wrap-up show. Hope everybody is uh, doing well. Crazy market uh, continues. We'll get to that uh, in a second. Uh, be so kind. Support your boy. Support your channel. Take a second out. If you like what we're doing, uh, all it takes is one second to help the channel out. Click a like. Uh, hit the like button. Subscribe. Share. Uh, all of that good stuff. So first and foremost, before we even get started, I want to uh, say happy Veterans Day uh, to all the great men and women, special, okay, men and women out there. It doesn't take a whole lot of skill set to be a trader, okay? It takes a special type of person uh, to be a veteran, to sacrifice uh, one's potential life for the greater uh, good of the country. So you guys are uh, a blessing Happy Veterans Day. Uh, I wish to God every day could be blessed for you and uh, blessings for your family. So let's talk about it, right? Uh, the post-election uh, euphoria continues, right? Uh, euphoria continues. You got Bitcoin just going completely out of its mind. Uh, 88,000 uh, last check. Uh, you have Tesla going completely out of its mind uh, today. Uh, traded all the way up to, um, you know, all the way up to 358. Uh, um, a lot of good, right? A lot of goodness. You have uh, the beta names kind of resting, watching, gathering their feet, uh, which is a good thing. And the most important part is that the people that are trying to fade this market. Guys, always remember from the general terms, okay? Number one, what do you need, right? What do you need for the market to go down? Now, some of you guys are just never happy. The market goes down, cash is a position, the market's cheap. The market goes up, uh, well, I don't want to chase it. Who's buying this stupid market? Uh, okay, you, you can't have it both ways. So for everybody who's trying to, to fade this whole Tesla rally, the, the most important part, okay, when a stock is exhausted, you're going to see very, very um, very, very specific clues. Okay. Number one, and this is true to any stock. Okay. That's tired from going up for a stock to go down. It needs to take out one day's worth of range. You guys remember, uh, five days ago, we were talking about Tesla needs to take out at least one day's worth of range to kind of wake up. Well, the opposite is true, right? So before you start, you know, getting in front of the train and getting run over, uh, always remember, it needs to lose at least one day's worth of range, and then the stock has an opportunity to go lower, okay? Uh, also, what needs to happen is you need to start seeing very aggressive put buying, right? Put buying into strength. So far, we haven't seen any of that uh, in the last four or five days. Matter of fact, I mean, this is some incredible, incredible option flow coming in. Guys, we saw, not only did we see, you guys remember last week we were talking about when the stock was still at 300, they were bypassing 310, 320, they were going to like 340s, 350s. Well, somehow today they started bypassing like 370s, 380s. They're just straight up betting 400 weekly calls, right? We saw some 450s, some 500s uh, in the next couple of months. So the institutional money flow is still betting to the upside. Do I think the stock goes to 400 by Friday? I don't think so, right? You'd, you'd have to ex expect some sort of pullback. But for all you guys who are trying to anticipate a backside move, you're going to keep on getting running over if the stock doesn't take out a previous day's low. They're, they're buying dips, right? They're buying dips. The, the problem is when you keep on buying highs, higher highs, higher lows, right? You know, you, you're still opening yourself up for a nasty pull. So nobody should be really, you know, buying the stock aggressively. Right? If that's your only entry in the stock, you know, uh, up 150 points or, yeah, up 150 points in the last five days. You, you really need dips. You need to dips 
into rising support. So I see a lot of traders already starting to take positions. This one's a short, that one's a short. The stock becomes a short, a backside play. When the sellers get tired, you have put call, uh, you have put options coming in into strength, and the stock needs to take out the previous day's lows. If it takes out the previous day's lows, and you hold, and you have all that formula, then you have a higher probability to get a pull. Is the stock going to have an amazing opportunity to the downside in the next day, two, three? Absolutely, right? This again, the stock has gone from you know two forty six to three fifty eight in five days. So you're, you know, just gravity alone uh, is going to get the stock lower. But do yourself a favor. Don't be smart. Right. Don't be smart. Don't try to anticipate. Don't try to be cute because if it doesn't take out the previous day's range, you are going to be doing deep knee pens in a cucumber patch and you have no, you have, you have absolutely no technical out. So be very, very careful. Everything else is kind of resting, right? This is kind of like day three now. Uh, everything is kind of resting here and we got our very first test today into rising support on a lot of names. Now, why is that important? Take a look, right? So NVIDIA today came and successfully tested the five-day bounce. That's important. Meta today came in, tested the 20-day bounce successfully, correct? Amazon came in today, tested the five-day bounce successfully. Now, why is this important going into tomorrow's session? Well, if if prices don't defend today's levels, kind of like almost like a, a, a spillover of the conversations we had on Tesla, then you can have a more exaggerated pull to the downside. But we want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt, right? We, we definitely want to give the bulls the benefit of the doubt because all these symbols uh, that we just talked about in the last couple of minutes, they're in massive uptrends. We're still seeing massive option falls. So for example, Amazon, we're still seeing 210, 215 calls being exaggeratedly trading hands for either for weeklies or for next week. Meta, we are still seeing, right? Still seeing 600 calls with pretty decent size, right? NVIDIA today, even when the stock was pulling back into the five-day moving average, we started, started seeing still 150, 152, 50 calls coming in. So it's been very interesting to see if this last two days of a pullback or a little bit of a digestion was it's exactly what it was, just a pullback and a digestion. Or is this thing one of those situations that, hey, maybe maybe buyers are getting tired. Maybe this is a situation that a little bit more back testing needs to happen. One stock, right? This is, again, why we're always prepared on both sides. One stock that's acting really, really well, guys, and is getting very, very tight. So Google, if you guys remember, came out with earnings on October the 30th and kind of came back in and then gapped up after the election. Now it's just kind of putting in a series of higher highs and higher lows and going sideways. The longer this thing goes sideways, the higher probability the break and test of the earnings highs will take place. This is a very, very important scenario because when all these other stocks were back testing today into the 5, 10 day moving average, Google held up really, really well. And that's very, very important. On the option side, that's exactly what we want to see. They started coming in with the 185 and the 190 weeklies. Well, why is that important? Well, that's five, ten dollars out of the money calls with now four days left. So this is definitely a name that the market holds up well over the next couple of days. This is a great setup, right? I, I definitely want to watch this thing uh, going into uh, the earnings highs in the next couple of days because if we do confirm and the options market still continues to bet aggressively from the 185, 190s, this could be a really, really uh, good uh, setup. Again, we don't know if it's going to get there, but again, that's one. Of, that's why we, again, we prepare and we prepare on both sides. Uh, look at a name like Snow, right? Look at a name like Snow. Snow. Snow had, we had a great pivot all the way back, all the way back to uh, October the 9th, had a big, big run and went into supply. Look how close Snow is to busting out of supply. This is one of the tighter ranges uh, I've seen out there in the NASDAQ 100. Keep an eye on this Snow, guys. If this thing starts uh, getting above, uh, if this thing starts getting above the October highs, this thing could really wake up. I'd like to see some option flow in the name, but this is a name that I definitely, definitely uh, want to watch. Look at this small name, BBAI, right? Right. Who knows BBAI? So this is one of those AI little stocks. If you guys saw what physically AI did today, right? AI had a pretty big move and then they faded. Look at this BBAI. Nice looking chart, right? For all you guys are trading these nice little charts, watch the options market, okay? This is a big range going all the way back to August. 
Uh, if BBAI, again, which isn't a good group, if BBAI can get above the August highs, this thing can wake up. Again, good looking charts. We, we don't want to chase anything that is up four, five, six, eight. Like I'm not looking at MSTR. I'm not looking at Coinbase. I'm not looking at Tesla through today's highs. I'm looking for uh, advan advantageous entries, but I want nothing to do with stocks that are up 150 points in four days. There's no, it means absolutely nothing to me. Look at a name, for example, like Etsy. Right? Look at a name like Etsy, for example. Again, it's still underneath supply. You can see here, it got rejected on September supply, came back in. It got rejected on October the 31st into supply, came back in. It got rejected again today into supply, came back in. Second alert, folks. Second alert. If this thing can get above the October highs, Etsy can wake up. So definitely keep an eye on that as well. Look at Square, right? Square had a masterful breakout today. Massive move. Look at the expansion volume the last three, four days. The only reason why it stopped today is stopped at the daily linear regression line. Just like if you guys remember, do you guys remember we were talking about UPST on the weekend update, right? And I said, hey, keep an eye on UPST. Any weakness into rising 60 minute support, watch this thing go green. If it takes out the previous day's high, it could spike, right? So look at UPST. Right, look at UPST. So UPST did exactly that today. It came into support, took out the previous day's highs, traded up like four, and then had a nasty reversal. But that's kind of the same point, for example, on a stock like Square. Watch Square tomorrow, okay? Uh, any profit taken at the open, keep an eye for potential uh, rising 60-minute support to kind of trap the shorts, test the long. And if it could start confirming today's channel and get back above this linear regression line, this thing could wake up as well. And the last one keep an eye on is Affirm. Affirm had a massive, massive move. Same notes on Square, same notes as Affirm. Watch this thing for potential, uh, watch this thing for potential rising support if there is profit taking or above today's highs. And the most important part going into tomorrow's session, guys, and this is this is a very important key of being of being a trader. I understand right now we are living in euphoria, right? The euphoria, especially in the Bitcoin trade, uh, especially in the Tesla trade. Always remember, okay, when the euphoria ends, okay, it's like it's like any crackhead, any heroin addict, they're always chasing the next high. When their high ends, the depression factor is overwhelming. And basically, every single time you're you're in a, one of these runaway stocks, always remember, you always want to sell when you want to, not when you have to, because the reversals in some of these things are going to be massive. And and I, I speak to a lot of you know really talented traders throughout the day, none of them on social media, of course. Um, but you know, again, everybody's looking for the backside trade of coin. Everybody's looking for the, the backside trade of MSTR. Everybody's looking for the backside trade of Tesla. So the last thing you want to do is continue to push highs, push highs, push highs, especially when these stocks are up 30, 50, 60 percent in a matter of three, four sessions. So always remember, guys, there's no such thing as selling early. There is such a thing as selling late. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great night. If you are interested in pivots, I know a guy. Again, click the link below. All it takes is 30 days to see if PS60 and pivots are right fit for you. Guys, God bless everybody. Have a great day tomorrow, and I'll see you on the field.